In today's tutorial, we will be looking at child records in Collective Access. A child record would be used to input things like photograph albums and scrapbooks. This is when you are entering items under a primary record. To do so, first find the primary record. I will be looking at one that has been recently created and can be accessed through the recently created widget on the dashboard. You can also do a keyword search to find your record. To add a child record under the primary record, click the stick figure. From the drop down menu, choose child record type, archival item, artifact, artifact archival item, which is the hybrid option. So what we do next is we add on to the succession number for the child record. Point one would be for the first image in the album. Fill in the appropriate fields. Once you're satisfied, click Save. To add media, go to the Media tab, click Choose File. Choose the first image, click Open. Change the type, access, whether or not you want to make it accessible on Novamuse and status. Click Save. You'll see here in the top left hand corner that we have now added the photograph under the photograph album. Now we are back at the primary record. To add another, click Create Child Record. Choose Type, click Save. For the second photograph, I will continue this numbering sequence with point two. Repeat the steps. Add the corresponding information. Click Save before continuing. Click Media to add image, choose File, click Open, and Save. Change Access to Accessible to Public if you wish it to be accessible on Novamuse. And you'll now see that this record has two components which are the two child records that we just added. In theory, the accession number should be a continuation of the album's number. The only exception is if the accession number has already been assigned to the album's contents. Please use those numbers instead. Remember, we never reassign accession numbers. This can get very messy. If you have questions along the way, please contact us for further instruction.